a life threat, you're going to have you know one or two other injuries that aren't life threat that might look worse than the other. You might have a, a bru you know bruise on the forehead. You might have a laceration on an arm. When you touch your leg, they might go ooey owie, and they tell you that it's it's deformed. So you're going to have other things pop up while you're doing this. But what we're looking for is life-threatening problems. Is a head injury a life threat? Yes. Don't yes. forget that. Okay. Is a chest open chest wound a life threat? Yes. Okay. So that's the things you got to watch for. What's going to kill them right now? That's what we're trying to treat right away. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can I get one of you guys to lay down here? That way we they can really watch. Probably sucks to the guy laying there because you're like. Yeah. See. <laughs> now. Just like medical assessment, this is a assessment station, which means we're doing a full assessment. We're starting from BSI all the way through the steps. Not like the other ones where BSI seems safe and we go right to it. This is a full assessment station. You'll lose points if you don't hit those spots. Okay. The scenario is going to read something like you're responding to a domestic dispute and you, they find a female lying on the ground, uh, the police have cleared the scene, the scene is safe. Um, typically these patients will have some moulage on, so they may look a little bruised up, they may have some blood, not always. Uh, it might be something you have to find it and they'll tell you as you see it. If you want something from them, ask for it. What does their skin look like? Do I see any bleeding? Do I see any bruising? Ask the question if you need to. Okay, make sense? Because we've done it both ways. I've seen them again. Moulage to the point where they're blue lipped and white, and I've come over there where they don't do any moulage. It all depends on who it is and who's here from the state and how involved they want to be with it. Okay? Okay. So, BSI, scene is safe. I have one patient, um, unknown problem at this time, so I'm going to assume C spine. Uh, it looks like an MOI because I do have trauma involved. Additional resources I'm not going to need at this time. A general impression, 21-year-old female patient lying supine on the ground. She has a bruise on her forehead and some deformity to her left leg. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make my patient contact. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I got in a fight with somebody. Okay, so she's talking to me, so she's an AMD app poo. Um, or she does have an airway, um, so I'm going to have my partner's going to already have C-spine. I'm going to have another partner go ahead and start applying oxygen. Um, I'm going to do a quick look. Do I see any obvious bleeding? And at this time, I see none. Uh, so we're going to determine this as a priority patient, but we're going to go ahead and do our assessment here. I'm going to start with a head to toe exam. I'm going to go ahead and touch it from head to toe. If something hurts, you got to let me know right away, okay? Okay. Okay. Her up here in your head. Yeah, on the left side. Okay, left side. I went in the jaw area. Oh, that's okay. Any trouble breathing? That oxygen helped a little bit? Yeah, Okay. So check out for JVD, no JVD, no tracheal deviation. Sternum's intact. Take a big breath for me. Does that hurt when I do that? A little bit. Okay, a little bit which side? Left side. Left side hurts a little bit? Okay. Down, palpate. Abdomen feel okay? Okay. I'm going to listen to the lungs. So I listen, 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 listen. This time I'm going to check the back. Does your back hurt at all? No. Okay. I got no bleeding. Pelvis and down up. Does that hurt? No. Pubic. Down the legs. Okay. This leg feeling okay? Feels okay. Look at your toes for me. Feel me touching yet? Okay. On this leg, we got some deformity down here. Does that hurt there? Yeah. What about down below? Does it hurt down below? No, the tickle? Just up above the knee. <laughs> okay. Can you look at your toes for me? Feel me touching yet? Okay. So we got some deformity to that leg. Okay. Squeeze for me. Feel me touching yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check a pulse. I got a weaker pulse. Okay, squeeze for me. Okay, feel me touching you? Mm -hmm. You're gonna have a weaker pulse. So my head to toe exam shows I have a head injury, which I'm gonna be a life threat. I have a, looks like a deformity to the leg, no other injuries, some pain on the side. Um, I got her on high flow oxygen. We're gonna cover up with a blanket and I'm gonna go ahead and check my vitals. My blood pressure, 90 over 60. My pulse is 100 and regular. What's your skin look like? Pale, okay. Temperature? Sweaty, cool. Okay, sweaty, so cool. Pale. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at about shock here. Check our pupils. Unequal. So I definitely have a, a potential for head injury. 
I'm going to go ahead and kick this up to an ALS run to get ALS in route. So I got pulse, blood pressure, um, boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to go ahead and do a sample history. Signs and symptoms I know are the head, the leg, and the side. Do you have any allergies to any medicines? Do you take any medicines every day? Okay, blood thinners, anything else? No. Okay, um, any past medical history I should know about? Any chest problems, heart problems? No. Okay, clotting issues? No. Okay, uh, lung problems, any breathing difficulties? No. Asthma? No. Asthma. Asthma, okay, you don't take anything for that? No. Okay, what's the last thing you had to eat or drink? Oh, well, we were eating at dinner and I don't remember how the fight started. Okay. Yeah, I had a big meal. So the event leading up to this was a fight then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you knocked down, thrown down, run over? I got knocked in the head and I think I fell back in my head maybe. Okay, so I got my sample history. Um, so at this time we're going to go ahead and load her up. We're going to put her on a backboard. Um, C collar, full C spine. We're going to get her in the back of the ambulance. In the back of the ambulance I got ALS and route. I'm going to go ahead and do another um, detailed exam head to toe. So I'm going to start up here. I'm going to go really nice and easy here. Definitely got that bump on the head. I'm going to check the pupils again. Same, checking the nose, any bleeding, any fluids? Nope. Open your mouth, check the mouth, any bleeding, any fluid? Broke some teeth. Broke some teeth, okay, checking the ears, any bleeding, any fluid? Nope. Okay, back down the neck, JVD, no, tracheal's in line, sternum's intact. Take a big deep breath for me again. That side still hurting? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to listen to lungs, good, 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 I'm going to check the back again. Any blood? Okay, any pain in the back? No. Okay, check the abdomen. All uh, four, pubis, down up, okay, down the leg. Move your toes. Can we be touching you? Yep. Okay, pulse is still weak. Okay, got the deformity here. Your pulse, move your toes for me. I had my partner go ahead and splint that leg for me. Down the arms, pulse, squeeze, wiggle. Squeeze, move your fingers for me. Okay, I got a pulse. So I'm going to go ahead and check my vitals with a head injury every five minutes. We got her on oxygen. Um, we got her covered up with a blanket. ALS is en route. Um, I think everything's good and I am finished. Questions, comments? Are we going to have to actually put a collar on or do on this backboard? Voice treat there? everything. Voice treated. Voice treated. Okay. Respirations. I forgot to count respirations in my vitals. Pulse ox is in the vital. It's not enough. Yeah, it is, but it's not one that's it's not enough mandatory. Vital vital. Yeah. Okay. What? A vital vital. <laughs> Victor Victor. Questions, comments, guys? It's take your time in the station. Don't again it, it's a quick rapid, but if you're doing it systematically, bang, bang back, boom, boom, it's good. Then you got that stop. Okay, so I did that, now stop. What do I need? Information and vitals, right? The only way I can get that is to do what? Steps. Take care and ask it. So get my vitals, get my information. I know they got a life threat. I know I got to treat them for shock. Okay, so now I, what's my shock treatment? I have low oxygen. You know, head injury, I don't like the elevation. Okay, so any other type of shock we could elevate, ALS. Make sense? Okay. Cool. We got about an 